Oops. <laughs> He's not very stable, is he? Mall of America. I have not done an antiquing type video for quite some time, so I thought it'd be a fun thing to do for Christmas. I am going to go in here and see what high-end items could be purchased and flipped for a lot more money. It happens, especially this time of year when a lot of the vendors are holding sales in their booths. So I'm going to get in there. I hope you are having a fantastic holiday season and that you will enjoy this video as much as all the rest. Let's go. Let's go get shop done. All right, here we go. This is 344 South Las Vegas Boulevard. They are open seven days a week. Ten to seven. I found a booth that everything is 50% off. So, I'm gonna give this a look-see see what goodies I can find both as some gifts that I still need to gather up and as some resale potential these are little Pyrex bowls Fire King chili bowl and then down here town and country so this would be $14 for that one I'm not real I'm not real into the Pyrex. I know there's a few that are like some really good patterns to be on the lookout for, but I don't know a whole lot about what they are. So this is, this would be 10 bucks. You know, um, Carrie's really into the mermaid thing. So she calls herself a desert mermaid. So that is why I look at mermaid stuff for her. Let's see what else we got up here. I'm in the upstairs section of this mall where I am closing down one of my spaces. I have one downstairs and I'm just going to try to concentrate on that one because it's two of them. It's just too much to, um, to handle for me right now. Oh, look at that little parasol. It's nice. Not really seeing anything that I can't live without. This dealer also has 50% off. Ooh, that's pretty. Very pretty. Some carved food dogs. Prices were pretty, pretty up there to begin with. They have some quite substantial stuff. Like this, there's a, it's a tortoise with a dragon head, and then there's a bird standing on top of it. That's pretty, pretty spectacular. Oh, it's only two thousand dollars. I don't think I like the whole tortoise being stood on thing, though. I don't, I don't like that. over in the very, very far back corner. I wonder how this dealer does back here in this very far corner. I would think that not everybody gets back here, but what do I know? It says it's a mechanical. Oh, I see. All right. He does flop. It's a floppy fish. I do kind of like this shelf as a display piece, but I don't have room for it right now. Maybe it'll still be here when uh, I get a space that I need that. Maybe, maybe. It's kind of a nice luster set. It's interesting. It's very raised, textured. I mean, it's um, like Moriage, but it's on the little buildings itself. 
which uh, is unusual. Ma, let's see. J. Trying to read that. Double diamonds. Oh, TT. Maybe it's TT. There it is. Fujima? Unfortunately, the sugar is missing its lid. And that kind of hurts value. There it is. This is just such a mess back here. I wish they would insist on their dealers doing a little cleanup. Because it just really looks yucky. $15 for that little corner bookshelf. Hmm. I could actually use that. I could use that up in my office. <gasps> yes, I could. $15. I, don't, I can't get it in the car, though. I have to pick up the kids, so I can't get it in the car right now. I'm going to have to... You know what? I got my movers here Thursday. If it's still here, I'm going to grab it. This is that nice uh, Portugal. Yeah, it's the Bord Bordalo Pinheiro, Portugal. Probably said that totally wrong. Let's see, it's $50 for four plates. It's actually pretty much full, full eBay price. Men are dogs, women are cats. Okay, that's funny. That's funny. Kind of a play on the men are from Mars, women are from Venus thing. Alright. Onward. So this is the booth that I'm closing. You can see it's it's getting pretty sparse. And uh, it's kind of a mess. <laughs> After I just got done talking about mess. But, but my excuse is that I'm actually running a 75% off sale uh, through next week and uh, closing down this space. So I'm going to have to move all of this that I can down to the other booth and the rest I'm going to just put into storage for a while. But uh, hopefully more things sell. This booth is 30% off. Ooh, some interesting looking jewelry. It's like a faux coral necklace. That's really nice. $8 minus 30%. Be like six bucks still. I don't really need any more jewelry right now. We are getting our jewelry now under control, organized so that I can do another jewelry live sale after doing all of those jewelry mystery boxes. Oh my goodness. That was such a huge undertaking. I mean it it was definitely, I learned some lessons about some things with doing mystery boxes and the jewelry, but uh, I needed the little break. I'm looking at these end tables from the, from the Cosmo Hotel. Kind of cool there. Mark David. I actually really like those. It's 220 bucks for the set. Minus 30%, but I do really like those. Got some manly stuff here. Some clothes. Oh, Eiffel Tower sculpture. It's kind of cool. Uh, let's see. Oh, those are interesting masks painted on palm fronds that someone has done. Nothing really pulling me in this space. <laughs> oh, we got music. Gonna have to be careful now. Here's another booth that is closing. I used to have some birds here. Darn it, I wish I'd have known they'd have gone on sale. It looks like somebody bought the birds. I really wanted those birds. But let's take a peek because there's some pretty glass in here. Ten dollars minus thirty percent. So that would make that piece of glass only seven dollars. I think I like that for seven dollars. Let's see what other 
nice glass we can might find in here. Oh, look at that peacock. That's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Oh, I love this piece of furniture too. Look at that. I don't know if you can get the full scope. Let me back up so you can see like the full thing. Look at that. It's got like a mirror area on top. I don't know what that would that have been used for. It's such a pretty piece of furniture. Hmm. There's another spectacular piece of furniture. Look at the carving on that one. Wowza. Wowza, wowza, wowza. Oh, this bowl is all open. It's like an open weave. And then here's another one. Lattice vase. They're just calling it a lattice vase. That's pretty cool. All right. No, I was hoping those were swung vases, but they're not. They're just tall vases. I imagine swung vases would have gone really quick. This is what I'm talking about. All of the dealers are just blowing stuff out this time of year. So there's lots of great sales. So I'm gonna take a look in this booth. This, uh, I gotta set my glass down and look at this. This uh, swan is really neat. It's resin though. It's made to look like wood, but it's resin. Had it been wood, I would have picked that up. It's 27, it would have been 40% off. It's still, that's a little more than I can do on it. Had it been wood, I would have though. That would have been totally worth it. Little horsey lamp. It's kind of a nice little horsey lamp. Rachel has no more room for any more horses right now. So we're, we're kind of on a project to go through her room and um, she's got to decide what she really super loves and what she can let go of. And then I'm really, really prompting her to get her Etsy store open and then she can sell her stuff and then she can buy new stuff that she loves even better. So have to learn those life lessons. I've kind of been a bad influence buying too much stuff because it's so easy to do. We got the flying pig. It's very cool. My goodness, so much stuff. But nothing's really calling me. Nothing, nothing yet, nothing yet. By all means, if you see something you think I should have picked up, you can let me know down in the comments. I do come down here at least a couple times a month. Well, look at these little snails. Oh darn it, I'm already seeing that one of them has got a broken antenna. <sighs> Those are so cute. All right, can't do the broken antenna though. This is a nice nativity. Who makes you? Who makes you? Okay, I have to pull that out and see who makes this one. Because the price is definitely right. It's by Trim a Home. Made in, oh, it was made for Kmart. Huh. I showed all my nativities in a previous video. It's 40% off though, and it's only $21. So that would make it like 12. You know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. All right. Really cool furniture. Yeah, 25 to 50% off in this space. Wow, look at that piece. That's a statement bowl right there. Oh, look at that owl. How much is he? He is $85. Go around 
here. Again, we got another 50% off. Oh, I see a nice little piece of pink Jeanette glass. It would be $14 for that. And I may actually just uh, go home and, you know, look some of this stuff up. As I am filming this, I will be back down here in a couple days because I'm, I have to finish moving everything out of my upstairs booth. So when, when I go through and kind of look at things here, I can decide if anything's worth coming back for. Okay, I'm gonna get my hands free again because I have a couple things I want to look at. Oh, stand by. This little pitcher is a creamer pitcher. It's catching my eye. It doesn't have a maker's name on it, but it's a really striking green color. Oh, it's a Sasha B. It does have a maker on it. It's a Sasha B. I didn't even know that they made creamers. That is really cool. All right, let's see. It would be 50% off. So it would only be $8. I think I'm gonna pick that up. Now I gotta see what else is on these shelves here. Okay, there's a hen on nest. What's interesting is it's it's got that on the bottom. And it doesn't, it's like all one piece. It's a bank. It says it's a bank. Oh, yeah, there's the slot. Well, I don't think I have ever seen a hen on nest bank. Have you? That's a new one to me, so that would be be like 16 bucks. I might, I might have to take a chance on that one. This is an unusual piece of pottery. I've got $90 on it. It is very cool. Look at that twisted, twisted handle. That's neat. And then there's a cabbage pottery vase. Another really neat piece. Is that marked on the bottom? It is not. It is not. Oh, we got some Mustang emblems. That's a Bronco, Bronco 2 emblem off of a vehicle. Hmm. Oh my, look at these. It's like, it's like George and Martha Washington. They have this at $20. Oh, the set would only be $10. That's quite interesting. I think I'm going to get that too. Let's see a mid-century piece over here. Not signed. I'm gonna leave that one back in there. Ew, look at those guys. These are kind of creepy. Let's see what's over here. Okay, I thought for sure these were gonna glow, but they don't. And uh, 28, so it'd be 14 for the set of four. They are Fos Fostoria, but they don't glow. And really that's what people want in that green glass right now. They want glowy glass. So I am on the hunt for some glowy glass today. Vintage style linen place mats. Oh, look at that pineapple, oh my goodness. Okay, I think I'm gonna run my little stash of stuff downstairs. It's a abalone shell purse. That's quite interesting. Be 24, oh it's Bakelite handle too. That's really neat. I might think about that one too. Well, I took all that downstairs now. I got my hands free again. Look at these Capitamonte lamps. They're selling the pair for 400, that's about right. I don't see a sale on this booth, but look at that mirror. Wow, a look at the detail on that mirror. That's pretty spectacular. The interesting vase is over here in the corner. What are these guys? Cobalt blue trumpet bud vase. Wow, they're so tiny at the top. Definitely hand blown. 
You can see there the pontol, somewhat polished, but look how it just goes into this really skinny little neck. Those are fascinating, actually. I kind of like them. I would not want to ship those, though. No, 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 no. I mean, you could. I would probably, if I was going to ship those, I would do the pool noodle, and that's a definitely a double box situation. It can be done. Just would not enjoy it. Got some carved eagles here. Oh, we got some people having some fun shopping. Oh, look. He's cute. He's a bobblehead. Oh, he is a bobblehead. He is a bobblehead. He's funny. Uh-oh. Got music playing. There we go. This twisty vase. How fun is that? It would be hard to put a flower in it and have it get any water. Oh my goodness, somebody's on their phone. This is not Murano. Look at that. That is a cloudy base. So that is a Murano wannabe. Okay. This booth here is 30% off. Everything over $10. So, well, let's see. I keep forgetting I have one of these. And it's like two years in a row. I haven't brought it out. Look at that old Monopoly. Oh, no. It says classic edition, so it's a reproduction. They wouldn't say that on the original. It would just be. Oh, nice. Uh, these are solid brass switch plates. Light covers. I kind of want to find a swung base now. I don't think I've ever purchased a swung base out in the wild. So that would be kind of a fun thing to get today, if I can find one. We shall see. Hmm. Look at this candy dish for five dollars. Hmm. That ha it's. I mean, it looks like it's probably a hobby piece. Oh, darn it! It's got a big chip. I know it's on the bottom and everything, but I think I still will. But it is a nice, it's a nice dish. I do kind of like it, but I'm going to, I'm going to be disciplined. It's not in danger of getting thrown out like it would be if it was at a thrift store and I would be more likely to need to rescue it. It's safe here. There is another booth closing sign. They are at 50% off. And this booth looks like there's going to be a lot of empty booths up here. That's a shame. But there, it's a sign of a business model needing to pivot, figure things out, which is something that Tiffany and I are working on. Stay tuned. We'll give you details as we know more. But, uh, yeah, it's going to be fun. We're going to solve the problem that makes all of these people leave their space. Hopefully. It's kind of a cool chair set. A Hong Huang chair in Ottoman. Seems like a reasonable price. Got some velvet paintings there. Kind of a blow mold snoop bear. Eh, nothing else too exciting. Oh, except one of these little animatronic caged birds, as is though, which means it probably doesn't work. It's $48. All right. Well, there's something you don't see every day. We've got uh, Princess Leia. Uh, aiming a pew pew at Spider-Man, who's missing his, he's missing his head. I mean, his head is there, but he's missing his mask that goes over his head. But, but she's pretty super cool. 
Let's see what we got over here. Oh, look at these drawers. Those are fun. All layered. Layered. That's probably not the right word. Is that the right word? Maybe it is. Tiered. Maybe tiered is the word I was looking for. Oh, look at the little stuffed little pillow guys. Oh, those are so cute. Not a big money maker though, so but they are cute. And Christmassy stuff. Not really looking for Christmassy stuff today, although I could be tempted. That's not old, but it's really worn out. Okay. Ooh, I kind of like this painting. Little desert scene. Very reasonably priced. Oh, I see a quilt over here. I got to take a peek at. It's forty dollars. Oh, cutter quilt. That means it's probably in rough shape. Okay. This booth is twenty-five percent off. So we'll take a peek around. I do like this little ice bucket. That's fun. Very fun. It is very bright. They have a window right here, so I'm hoping this footage doesn't get all weird. We're gonna try though. We're gonna try. I can't even really show you this shelf because it's just, the sun is just kind of beating through there. It's that time of day too. Look at this Wrigley's gum tin. That's, that's cool. <laughs> I like it. All right, let's see. Super slings. I cannot adult today. I feel that sometimes. Definitely feel that sometimes. Oh, it's more mermaid stuff. I'm looking at these fish platters. Ryan Charles, 93 fish platter, $32. Those are, those are pretty cool. Let's see. Oh, look at that brass toucan. He is cool. It's 85. This looks like, like a reverse glass print almost. I think it might be. That's neat. It's it's like the um it's uh, is it like the what do they call that? Oh gosh, there's a name like it's like the dancing nymphs or something. They've got the guy, they're kinda like carrying him away. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh, I see a really cool cockatoo. Yep, I see the turtle, but I have two of those. But I do see that cockatoo right there. He's $55 though. I'm, I'm kind of stingy when I spend on myself, I gotta tell ya. <laughs> What's this say? My goal in life is to be the person my dog already thinks I am. Yes. Yes, that is for sure. Especially Peanut. Just Peanut thinks I rock her world. <laughs> I, wish, I, I wish people wouldn't do stuff like this. I don't understand this. Like, I just, I didn't come from this age when people did that stuff. So it's hard to see. All right, look at this. Kind of amazing. Oh, $472 seems like an amazing price for that. I don't have a place for it. I love this bookcase too. I kind of have a place if I moved things around, but I'm not even sure I need another bookcase right now. Ooh, there's a neat chess table that all that you can store the stuff inside of it. $395, but it is 30% off. That's gorgeous. I do like that. Nice 
this little porcelain Bavarian. Yep. Bavarian. This space is 50% off. Let's go see if there's anything in here we can't live without. Oh, the Fox cookie jar would only be $10. Mmm. The blue fox. I think. I think I'm gonna end up with the blue fox. I think I am. We're gonna, we're gonna look around still before I put that in my hands though. Cause once I do that, I gotta run back downstairs and offload him. Karma? Karma? Yeah, it says karma. Stone pot. Interesting. Interesting. Oh, that's pretty gorgeous. Look at the bird etched into that. There's a, another Isabel Bloom dove. I just picked one of these up the other day. I might grab that for $9. Oh, and then there's a, this one would be 15 booth next door. I have not forgotten about my fox. This is always oh, a doorstop. A little doorstop rat. But then behind him is this cute little guy. It's 15. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm looking around. Nope. There is no discount in this booth. Darn it. And then these little little lucky cat here. Ten dollars for those. Those are tempting. Oh, hello little bird of happiness for nineteen dollars. Mm. Darn it, I wish they were having a sale in this booth. That is a mouse. We got some Annalise. Look at the little Annalie baby. You need to stand up. There you go. Oh, look at its big owl. Oh, big owl from Country Bear Jamboree. Uh, he was one of my favorites. It's 25. <laughs> and then there's some DeGrazia tiles here. They are $12. That seems like a good price. Again, I may research and then come back and get a few things. Look at all the Tupperware. Look at the Tupperwares. How oh, cool. Oh, they got quite a few Annalies in here. Here's another Christmas Annalie. The Eskimo. Oh, look at that big pig. Five gallon bank. Love it. Oh, I see little, little mushrooms for five dollars. I don't think they do anything. They're just, they are just little mushrooms for five dollars each. Ooh, I see even more Annalise. Big Annalise on sleds. They are, oh yeah, $200. It's one of two. Oh, is that for the pair? Maybe that's for the pair. Let's see. It's uh, one of two, one of, no. No, I think that's $200 each. 
Very cool. I do like the California original orange leaf too. It is 15. Some very interesting stuff in this booth. Like, I thought they were just fake little biscuity things, but they're candles. And I oh, don't do candles. I destroy candles. I'm really bad with candles. Look at this cute little guy. Oh my goodness. It's an Inesco. Wheelin' and Dealin' multi-action musical. That's fantastic. All right, let's see. We got a little souvenir of Michigan City, Indiana toothpick. Late 1800s, most likely, or into early 1900s. I really like these. They all tell a little story. Little piggy bank. Circus clown picture bingo game for children. Plus, pin up clown game. Interesting. I'm just, I'm not a clown person. Just not a clown person. Though I do like this. I have no place to hang it though, but I do like it. This is another 40% off space. Let me take a peek through here. There's that hall. Is that a jewel? Jewel autumn jewels? A harvest jewel? Something is the pattern. Let's see what else? That's kind of a nice pattern. It's the Acapulco pattern, Villaroy and Bach. Nice. Let's see some glass. Oh, cute little set of salt and peppers. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, nothing I can't live without today. There are some really fun cork ornaments in this booth. Oh, those are fun. Do love those. She must make these because there's a whole family of them. Whole family of them. Let's see what we got. Oh, those are interesting. Oh, I gotta put my fox down here. Let's see. Who makes these? They are candle holders, all three for a hundred dollars. See what's on the bottom here. They came from Home Goods. Okay, they were $25 at Home Goods, so they should probably take that price tag off if they're gonna try to get more than that at the antique mall. That's a fun puzzle. It's redone. Honeymoon fund. I have found some interesting things in this space before. Like a little small vase made of wood. But it's... I don't think that's wood. I... Oh, it's got a little tag on the bottom. S something Studio D Originals from California. You no, know, that's only $5. I'm going to grab that. Alrighty, let's see. A bacon waffle maker. Hmm. I have all... Oh, 20% off in this booth, too. I have already gotten so many things on Noah's wish list. He is going to have a good Christmas. I mean, Rachel is too. Rachel's just easier and he was a little more difficult this year. So I'm, I'm really excited that <laughs> I think Noah's going to be really happy this year. All right. I don't 
don't. Oh, Simon. Simon Swipe. Remember Simon, the Simon Says game? Oh, that game frustrated me. All right. Oh, wow. 70% off. She normally does 50% off in this booth, so that's an extra 20% off for him. But it looks like she's going to close this booth now. Temptation. What's this one? It says 50% off. Oh, here's another one of those. That one looks a little faded. A little faded. Let's see what else we can find. I usually find a couple cool things in her space. What do I call her? Feather plumes. I wonder if she's selling them with the bronze vase. Yeah, oh, it's 70% off. So it would be like $30 with all, oh, with all the flowers and all the stuff. I mean, that's a pretty stunning vase too. You know what? I think I need that in my life because I want those feathers. I also found these happy little unicorn salt and peppers and they would be $3 because they're 70% off. I need those in my life too. Well, I took that stuff downstairs and I'm back to the same booth just to keep looking a little bit. I like the eucalyptus too. Don't really have any place to go with it at the moment. This looks like it might be Crosnose glass. Maybe they're calling it a flower frog. It's pretty interesting. Let's see up here. A little cabbage vase. Who makes you? You're a, I want to say a Kaiser. Nope. What does that say? Bavaria. H and C. Selb Heinrich. This is really nice quality. Yeah, she's, she's got 45 on it. And it would be 50% off. That is a nice piece. It's a very nice piece. I have some of these little guys. I look at this is sand. Somebody put all the different colors of sand in there and made a scene. It's like it's done in a shot gland turned up shot glass turned upside down and then sealed. That had to just be an incredible undertaking. I do like that too. What's this? are you? Oh, you're a little whale. That's what you are. Hmm. I was kind of peeking at this doll. I do think she's a reproduction. Her wig is not real. Um, um, what do they make them out of? Like mohair. And sometimes real hair. Yeah, I can tell her clothes or reproduction. She's still a good price, but I was hoping she was the real deal. Because I collect the real deal. Alright, I think that's all we're going to get out of this space today. But I got to show you. So apparently this dealer has two booths because here's the birds I was talking about. Which now gives me the dilemma of where would I put these birds? I mean, I have admired and loved them for the last year, but I don't know where I would put them. I'm gonna think about it. I got two days to think about it, like where I would put those birds, because I do love them. And this is gonna be my last chance to get them, if I do really want them. We got Elvis, uh-huh, uh-huh. I love that dresser too. They have some really pretty stuff. Very, very high end taste this dealer has. You can just tell. Unfortunately, they must not have gotten enough customers 
to make it worthwhile. I love that dresser too. Mm. It's really a shame these little guys didn't hold their resale value. I used to have a huge collection of precious moments. I honestly don't even know what happened to it. And because they're so, they're so adorable. They really are. Look at the frog. Now, if they had a turtle, I'd be tempted to get it. Actually, I have a turtle. That's a precious moments. It's with a, it's with a little kid on it. Um, but other than that, I don't pick them up. Look at the little pig on glass. This booth has some nice things, but I kind of know they're at a price range that I'm not going to be able to make any profit on. So I don't generally come in here a whole bunch, but I will come in here and admire some things because they do have some pretty glass. Those are fun. Set of glasses. Gas buggy. Some birds. Yep. There we go. Just coming around the corner and just struck by this cool dresser. I don't know if that's, oh, it's like inlaid on there. That's not painted, that's inlaid. Wow. It's, uh, it's not constructed very well though, which is a shame. But man, that is really cool. It's a little, Crowded in here. I'll see if I can get in here. Uh, I'm always super careful because I wear a backpack. <laughs> Some neat pieces. I just love these old chairs. Oh, that's pretty with the stained glass. It's a, um, I think you would call that like a hat rack almost, more than a coat rack. I mean, you could use it as a coat rack, I guess. I think its original intent was to be a hat rack, though. Back in the day when everybody wore hats. Let's see what you, what you can find over in this little corner. I spotted this little horse under here. We'll make sure. Ah, come here. Hand painted horse, Christmas horse, 25. Oh, he's got some weight to him. Definitely looks like he's got some age to him, too. That is interesting. He's metal and he's heavy. I'll put you back there. That's pretty. in here. It's funny, all the fans running. Like, I'm freezing and they've got fans running everywhere. I guess I am not the norm. What are you? What are you? Your, oh, your candles. Okay. Goodness, lots of stuff. This is really cool. Look at this cruel work Christmas tree with the little kitty cat underneath. That is really sweet. They went 42 on that one. Very nice. Wow. Diamond Celebration Disneyland mug, 45? Hmm. Interesting. Look at those mushroom canisters. Huh. 
I wonder if those are like a Holland mold or something. They definitely look like they've been, you know, painted by someone doing a home project. They are super cool. Super cool. Let's see what we got over here. I see some glass under here that looks interesting. You know what? I wonder if any of it glows. Let's get out the black light. Sometimes even blue glass will glow. Doesn't hurt to check. It's funny as the tags glow. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Struck out on the glowing again. <laughs> He's not very stable, is he? This booth is 20% off everything. Oh, look at the cookie jar with the baby birds on the top. Oh, oh that is awesome. It's a Maddox 265. I'd be so afraid of like spending that much on a cookie jar and displaying it and having it get broken. That would be my luck. Mickey Mouse bobblehead is cool. Let's see what's over in this little nook over here. <laughs> I don't see anything that's really grabbing me. Nice Native American pottery piece. Ooh, a leather caribou. Oh, I do. I do like this shirt. I really, really do kind of like this shirt. Hmm. It's too big for me, though. But I like it. I'm super in love with this piece. Man. How cool is that? Get those birds in there. I bet with the price they have on it, it worked. Oh, my gosh. That just totally creeped me out. He was just sitting over here waiting to spook people. Ooh. There are a lot of competing radios going right now. And I'm not sure which one's going to win and come through here and cause me any trouble. <laughs> but I do love this booth. So I did want to take a moment to uh, admire some of the cool things in this booth. Look at these little honeycomb Christmas tree candles. Those are great. Very nice things. <gasps> what is that? It's a tomato dish thing. It looks like a Beirut. Yeah, Royal Beirut. I have my hands full. I found a couple of little bird Christmas ornaments. So I'm one handed with the camera right now. So I couldn't turn it over and look. It's okay. Oh, look at the Mr. Peanut salt and pepper shakers. Those are kind of cool. Look at this great little vintage Santa in a sleigh and his plastic reindeer. It's $20. That is so cool though. I love that the vintage stuff has really made a strong comeback. And it's really in. Huh? Sorry, I didn't mean to, do you want me to take them out. Yes, You're, please. I know which one you are, right? With yeah. the feathers. Yes. What are you? Oh. Looked down and I saw this tree topper. But I was really looking over here at this tree topper. Oh, it's a pineapple. I'm not really happy with the tree topper I have on. I want an antique one. <gasps> Look at these. Whitehurst Imports. 
Made in Germany. <gasps> oh, look at these. I love them. I love them. I love them. I'm not sure these go with those. I think these are a different maker, most likely. These little sugared ones, though. How much are you? Here. I see it. It's $32 for the box. That might not be bad. Let's see if that's what it says here. Oh, see, wait. These, these are $6, these little strawberries, but yet... Box of eight. It does say box of eight. Hmm. So 32 for the box. Eight and 32. That's only like $4 an ornament. I think I have to get this. Look at that gorgeous beauty right there. Oh my goodness. They just call it orange art glass dish for 65. Is that... I guess that would be like the same as the bittersweet in the swan vases, right? Large ruffle bowl. That's just, it's just stunningly beautiful. Stunningly beautiful. I came around the corner here and I spotted this made in Italy bird pitcher. It's only $7. Look at all those marks underneath there. I, I'm looking to see if he's, oh, uh, his beak's got a little... But you know what? That it's just a glaze chip versus like a chip into the ceramic, so that could be that could be pretty easily touched up. I think for seven dollars, I can't go wrong on that guy. And I kind of turned around and I saw this vase here, which this has a really mid-century feel to it. I have to look and see what all these numbers on the bottom mean. It may not be old. It may be a newer bottle, but you know, it's got that sleek design I swear I've seen this before and you know what it's only four dollars so it's going to be a little uh, lesson that I'm gonna pay to learn okay who doesn't need a rocking camel I mean if I was a kid I'd rather have the rocking camel than a rocking horse just saying okay finally I found some glowy glass Ooh. It's $50 for the set of five. I do love how that, I do love how that looks though. So cool. Okay, I just found a sign that says it's 30% off. So I'm gonna grab these up. Okay, this guy's super tempting. He is 30% off of 50. Does that make him like 30 bucks, right? No, 35, $35. Too bad there's not two of them. You have two of these together. It's really awesome. I may come back for that one. I see a Charming Tails over here. He's 20%. No, he's 30% off too. Oh, this one's signed. Look at that. Limited edition signed. Hmm. 22 minus 30% would be about $6 off. <gasps> you know what? I think I'm going to grab that one. Okay, another gorgeous piece of furniture. Oh my goodness. It's an inlaid wood round table for 900 bucks. Wowza. Beautiful.
haven't done that in a very long time. That was a really fun, just a stroll through the antique mall. And I found some great stuff. Uh, everything except a, a few of the items that were already priced really well was on sale. So I think my total bill came to like $225. And that included a yard light up penguin that I threw on at the end who was like 20 bucks. Uh, so I'm pretty happy. You'll be seeing a lot of this stuff show up in my live sales. And uh, I hope you have had an absolutely amazing Christmas. Uh, Merry Christmas. I'll talk to you before the New Year. So I don't even need, need to say Happy New Year yet, but Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, all that good stuff. Um, and I always love to acknowledge those of you who have a difficult time during the season. I get it. Single mom here with no real family gatherings or anything left. So the social world is my world. So you can consider me family. I will consider you family. And um, if you've watched this all the way through, you probably are needing some family. So I just want to say I love you. I appreciate you. And you are not alone. And we'll get through this together. Now with that, go be profitable and make it fun.